In this video, we're going to take a look at performance issues that you can have in Windows, particularly caused by memory issues. You'll find with memory hungry applications like Adobe and high performing games, performance tends to almost grind to a halt because your computer doesn't have the resources available to keep up. A handy application that can help with this is an application called Empty Standby List. This helps clear your standby memory automatically to free up resources on your computer. You can download this from wj32.org. I'll stick this link in the description and you can just download from here. And just save that to your machine. If you go into Task Manager and Performance, here you can see what percentage of memory is being used and how much memory is being cached. So you can see that that's 75% of the memory is being used and one gig is currently being cached. If you open Resource Monitor down the bottom, you can see the breakdown of that memory. Here you can see the memory currently in use, which is being used by applications, the Windows OS and other processes and services. Modified and standby memory makes up your cached memory and you also have free memory here. The problem we have is the memory in standby memory. Data is stored here just in case an application or a game needs quick access to it again. A lot of the time Windows doesn't free this up quick enough and it's why you can experience slowness in your applications and lag when gaming. This is where we can use empty standby list to solve this issue. So if we minimise resource monitor and task manager there and we'll just go into the C drive. Now here I've created a new folder for empty standby list and I've also copied the application into the folder as well. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into the properties of that application and you want to go up to compatibility and you want to tick the run this program as an administrator. Just select OK to that. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into the start menu and you want to go into your task scheduler. So once that's open you want to go and create a new task and just give the task a name. And then you want to change the permissions that the task is actually running as. So you want to select advanced and just select find from there and you want to scroll down until you can see the system account. Just select OK for that so that has the correct permissions and select run with highest privileges. And if you go into triggers and um, we'll create a new trigger. So you want to select the repeat this task every five minutes and you want to set it for a duration of indefinitely. And if you go into actions and if you browse to where the application is, just select that and select OK. Once that's done, you can go ahead and select OK on the task that will go and create the new task. If you can't see it straight away, just do a refresh on your tasks. So if we open up resource monitor here, you can see that the standby memory is still at over a gig. So we'll run the task manually. So if we right click on that and run. So you can see how the standby memory is put straight back into the free memory. We had to manually run it there, but that will run every five minutes automatically. And that will help you with any gaming issues that you have or any applications that also have a bit of a problem as well.